Namaste and welcome back to my channel. Continuing with the flap series, today we are going to discuss the second most common flap which is the gracilis flap. So in this video we are going to mainly discuss about the vascular and the nerve supply associated with this flap and which are the different types of flap harvest that we can take. So first of all according to the Mathis and Nahai classification, the gracilis flap whether it is musculocutaneous or just the muscle alone it is a type 2 flap this means that there is going to be a dominant pedicle of the flap along with the minor pedicle this is very important because during dissection we must identify that we are harvesting this flap based on the dominant pedicle now where does this dominant pedicle come from so the vascularity of this flap is based on the mcfa that is the medial circumflex femoral artery which is a branch of the profunda femoris. Now some authors also believe that there is an adductor branch which supplies the gracilis muscle but most commonly documented is the MCFA which is considered to be the dominant supply of the gracilis flap. Few other minor vessels or minor pedicles also supply this flap which then arise again from the MCFA or from the superficial femoral artery. Now to understand the vascularity a bit more in detail, we will quickly revise about the femoral artery, its origin and its divisions. So the femoral artery, which is a continuation of the external iliac artery, is going to go, after crossing the inguinal ligament, it is going to divide mainly into the profunda femoris and the superficial femoral artery. Now the profunda femoris with which we are concerned with is going to divide into the medial circumflex femoral artery which is the vascularity in question for the gracilis flap and the LCFA that is the lateral circumflex femoral artery which further has an ascending branch, a transverse branch and a descending branch but that is something we will discuss when we see the anterior lateral thigh flap. For now, the profunda femoris which gives off the MCFA is the uh, vascularity which we should remember because it is supplying the gracilis muscle and hence our flap. The superficial femoral artery which is a continuation of the femoral artery in the thigh is also going to give some of the minor pedicles to the gracilis muscle as we have seen. Why is this muscle preferred in a lot of cases? is because this muscle can be harvested as an innervated flap. So it is important to know where does the nerve supply come from. So the gracilis muscle is supplied by the anterior branch of the obturator nerve. This branch also supplies the adductor longus. Now the posterior branch of the obturator nerve will supply the adductor magnus and other, and other muscles but for us the gracilis is supplied by the anterior branch of the obturator nerve. So these are the main points, key points that you should be aware of before we dive into the discussion of harvest of a gracilis flap as well as its uses. So because of the vascularity and the innovation that is associated with this flap, it can be harvested as a muscle only which is used to fill small defects such as over the dorsum of the foot or over the upper limb and we can harvest the skin paddle along with it. In a lot of cases the skin paddle is taken only as an outside monitoring device to make sure that the muscle is also getting good vascularity. Why is the skin paddle a little precarious? We will discuss when we discuss the harvest of the gracilis flap. The important point to note is that this is very widely used as a free functional muscle flap because of the innovation and the long length of the nerve that comes along with this muscle. It has been widely used in the cases of facial palsy for re innervation VIC that is Volkmann's ischemic contracture when we need to restore the action of the long flexes of the hand or in case of brachial plexus injury especially traumatic brachial plexus where we need to restore functions such as elbow flexion, finger flexion or both. It has also been used in the breast as a tug flap which is a transverse upper gracilis flap with a transversely oriented skin paddle. 
So what is this tug flap will also be discussed in the next video once we see the flap markings and the harvest of the gracilis muscle flap.